Hey, what's going on, guys? And I'm back, and once again, it's another update. Now, let me say something before I even go into this update. Check this out. If you guys tell me, th I feel like, I really feel like a wizard. Look, we have alchemy in front of us. I'm holding some type of ward in my hand, and look at that. Dragons on the horizon. I mean, come on. This game is like every day. It's getting more and more like Oblivion. It's not going to be Minecraft anymore. It's actually getting pretty cool. All right, so check this out. What I want to show you guys is the new glistering melon. You're like, what the heck's a glistering melon? Well, I'm going to show you what a glistering melon is. Check this out. So basically, it's pretty simple to make. All you have to do is you have a melon, that's it, and a gold nugget. And that's all it requires. So you put your melon there, you put your gold nugget there, and it gives you a glistering melon. Now, what's a glistering melon do? Uh, well, we're going to find out. So for those of you that know how to create an awkward potion. Basically, an awkward potion is water and another wart will create an awkward potion. Also, see these cool little pink potions over here? So if we take that awkward potion and a glister and melon and we put that there, just like that, it's going to give us a new potion of healing. This is instant health. So it's automatically instant health. Now, the glister and melon, the only thing about the glister and melon is you get the melon from whether you make a melon farm or you, because you're not going to find them in the wild, you get some seeds somewhere, and then you get the, the what is it, the gold nugget. Is that what it's called? I want to make sure I said that right. Let's see. Yep, the gold nugget. You get the gold nugget from the nether from the uh, zombie pigmen. So that's who drops them. So you have to get to the nether to get the gold nuggets. and then, Or you can find a lightning storm and hopefully a pig gets hit by lightning. I think that works. I don't know if that's a mod or not. But I'm pretty sure that works. So yeah, that's how that works. And it's actually pretty cool. I mean, there's a lot of crazy things going in. These are my dragons on the sunrise. Watch this. I'm going to go over there and they're everywhere. Look at they're destroying my map. Like they're going through everything. They just destroyed this forest. You guys are bad, but they're cool at the same time. Look at that. So yeah, I can't wait till these guys are active. This looks so cool. So here you go, guys. All right, that is the glistering melon. Later. Bye. Oh yeah, and here's another quick thing that I want to show you guys. If you right-click your brewing stand and you got your potion in there that where you've placed your potion and if you take gunpowder and you mix it with any potion let's let that brew for a little bit and watch what happens that's actually pretty cool and we'll watch these guys over here as the sun sets i just think that is so cool that really just adds a whole new level to minecraft that's just nuts wow just imagine if they were breathing fire, that whole forest would... Look at him. He's just ripping the trees out. That whole forest would be gone. Yeah, that's going to be great. All right, let's see what this guy's doing over here. All right, there we go. Look at that. So now, instead of it just being a potion of healing, now it's a splash potion of healing. So now it does splash. So you can throw this... You can throw this and heal someone. So imagine what this would be like in PvP. <laughs> You throw that, look at that, and it just, boom, broke on the, and just spread everywhere. That is cool. That is really cool. So there you go, guys. That's how you make splash potions. Any potion with gunpowder makes a splash potion. So, all right. Bye.